Welcome to Tactical Fred's Q&A. In this video, I may tend to joke in a crude or immature manner. Please do not take any of my jokes seriously. Viewer discretion is advised. Let's see. Our first question is, how many holes have you thrown out of a moving car? Well, there's your sister and your girlfriend, but hey, they owe me a quarter, you know? Here we have the douche that uses his email as his YouTube username again. Handcuffs, whips, or both? Both. Gotta come prepared, you know. There's that faggot again! Have you ever screwed a wall socket while your dick was on fire? No, but I'm pretty sure you've done it plenty of times, man. I swear if this dude comes up again. What do you think about the brony community? Well, I don't have a very valid understanding of the word brony, but I believe it has something to do with ponies. I really don't give a rat's butt cheeks enough to Google search it. Moving on! Can somebody ban this faggot? What's your favorite horror film? Well, my favorite horror film was the one with Dylan's sister on the stripper pole and... Wait, you said horror film? I'm not a big fan of scary movies. I'm more of a comedy and animation guy. The only scary movie I really like is The Silver Bullet, a movie I saw in the 6th grade. I was scared to death, but I actually enjoyed it. Goosebunks is pretty good, too. Oh, come on! What's your favorite movie of all time? I don't have a favorite movie of all time. I mostly enjoy movies that are focused on comedy and animated films. I freaking love talking animals. They're very nostalgic, and the talking animal crap never gets old. I don't care what anybody says. Pixar and DreamWorks films are awesome. Not a big fan of some of the newer ones, though. Dude, if this isn't the last question coming from the same dude that's been asking me questions since the beginning of the video, somebody's gonna get friggin' blocked. What do you think about Gex up and Zookstar at this point? Gex up has disabled comments and ratings in his videos, and Zookstar barely makes any videos. Honestly, Gex up and Zookstar are some amazing YouTubers and commentators in general. Even though Gex up's not a YouTuber anymore, you know. For those of you that don't know, ever since the new channel design struck at the beginning of 2012, forced upon everyone, Gex up left YouTube, disabled all comments and ratings on his videos and discontinue channel comments. Gexup has moved on to his new website, is tailtime.net, previously telling everyone about the site before he left. His last video that's posted on YouTube is a promotion video for his website. I believe Gexup is very entertaining and I enjoy watching his professional Naughty Dog vs. Insomniac game series, which is how I and many other people have found him. Gexup and Zookstar originally were a team on YouTube, now just a team on Gexup's website, I believe. I never thoroughly explained Gexup's website. I just wish he never had left YouTube. Plenty of YouTubers deal with YouTube's crappy changes. But sadly, Gexup couldn't. Gexup is a huge inspiration for the Dr. Nefarious 545 channel because Matt wanted to make videos similar to Gexup's videos. Around the time Matt was 13 or so. Even though Gexup left YouTube, I still enjoy watching Zookstar, though his lack of video uploading activity is a huge disappointment. Zookstar's comparisons, reviews, top 10s, and complete explanation of an entire series like GTA is completely phenomenal. Zookstar's mic is very crappy, but his accent is awesome. I'll probably check out his website sometime in the future. Finally, a question asked by someone else. What? <clears throat> What's the worst game you ever played? Well, I have played many video games in the past, and I can only name one that I may consider the crappiest. No, not Modern Warfare 3. Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius on the PS2. This kidding? game sucks so bad, I didn't want to play it when I gathered this footage. I just recorded the automatic demo in a start menu. This game is the only Jimmy Neutron game I hate. Attack of the Twinkies, er... Twonkies is the best Jimmy Neutron game, while Jet Fusion is okay, but not as good as Attack of the Twonkies. This game, however, has horrible sound effect quality, graphical quality, replay value, and garbage game mechanics. This is an early game from 2002, so you can't really blame the developers of this game. Next!
One, what's her favorite game? Modern Warfare 3, rated P for perfection. It's obviously a troll. My real favorite game is... Ratchet and Clank up your butt cheek to the left. Better known as Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. The Monkey 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I share a common memory for all the fun we've had in this game in the past. An experience no Ratchet and Clank game can top. My brother and I used to talk about this game a lot, and we really got in debt with the story. I, along with many people, in the past and in the present, love Ratchet and Clank, up your arsenal with a passion. Next we have, what's your favorite Jack game? I'll have to go with Jack 3, since Jack 3 is the first Jack and Daxter I've ever played and this game doesn't give me bad memories of throwing my controller across the room. What's your favorite Ratchet and Clank game? Um... What's your favorite Sly game? Oh wait... It was always Sly 3 Honor among faggots. Er, I mean thieves. I love the beautiful environments, graphics, voice acting, and Sly's missions. And I'm not a big fan of Carmelita's voice in this game. You know, it's just ridiculous. Keep in mind, I think Sly 2 is a better experience, but enjoy Sly 3 more, since the difficulty is less of an issue, since of being too easy, you know. What's your favorite online game? I'll have to say, Modern Warfare 2. With complete disregard of it being a Call of Duty game, I always thought this game had some addictive multiplayer. I always thought the multiplayer was the best I've seen in any Call of Duty game. Even though it had its issues like infinite grenade launchers with one man army in danger close, commando, you know, I had a lot of memories with my old Xbox Live friends back before I got banned. And honestly, if you get into a match with the right people, as in your buddies and some non-douchey enemies, you might just have the time of your life. The soundtrack is very memorable and well composed. The only things that ruin this game is its lack of support and community. That's pretty much it. Who is your favorite video game character? That's kind of a tough one there. I guess I'd go with Captain Quark. Who is your favorite character between Jack, Ratchet, and Sly? Pfft, Ratchet. Who is your favorite character between Nathan Drake, Cole McGrath, or Sackboy? Sackboy! Otherwise, I would have picked Nate. 9. What is your top 5 movies? I don't have top 5 movies. Sorry. Question 10. What are your top 5 games? I'll just put a little list together real quick. In the order from 5 to 1... Big whoop, wanna fight about it? Will you ever do video game reviews? I've been thinking and considering on doing video game reviews for quite some time now. I just think it's a lot of work and requires specific footage, scripting, and hardcore editing. One of these days, perhaps next year or so, I might. Next we have, have you ever heard of the YouTube channel, Yuri of Wind? No. 3. What do you think of bronies? This answer could not be processed. 4. What are your thoughts on Star Wars Episode 7 being made? I don't know or care much for Star Wars movies, but the games are okay. 5. Do you think the second TV and Naughty Dog is making Jack 4, Uncharted 4, or something new? I suspect Naughty Dog's second team could be making Jack 4, but at the same time Uncharted 4. I honestly doubt The Last of Us will be released alongside a new IP. So either Uncharted 4 or Jack 4. Here, Master Shake asks me, if a tree falls in the middle of the woods and no one's around, does a hipster buy the soundtrack? What the heck? I guess so. Um, I guess the hipster wants to buy the soundtrack since he's, you know, a freaking hippie. So, yeah, if it's groovy enough. 
Do you get mad thinking you could have been playing Thieves in Time by now? No. I'm just grateful Sanzuru was kind enough to start making a new Sly game back in 2010 or so. I also could care less about Sly 4 news. I just want to play the game and have an experience similar to the two sequels. Do you think they're going to make a Sly 5? Only if Sanzuru doesn't provide an ending to Sly 4 decent enough to end the entire series. Do you think Naughty Dog is making a Jack 4 as we speak? I heard they were back in 2010, but they gave up and made The Last of Us instead. This answer could not be processed. Here, a young COD fag asks me, When are you going to post more COD vids? Honestly, for those of you that haven't noticed, I don't upload Call of Duty videos very often. I plan on posting my first impressions of Black Ops 2 whenever Amazon stops trolling me with their payment method BS. I plan on borrowing my brother's copy until November 16th so I can make the videos faster. The only COD vids that will ever be posted on my channel are Let's Plays of Campaign, Special Ops, or Zombies with Friends, awesome moments I want to share with people on YouTube, and trolling. That is all. Lionel asks me, will you be finishing any of your walkthroughs that you started a while back? Like Spongebob and Ratchet and Clank Future Tools of Destruction. Of course I will. I just have a lot of schoolwork and stress to deal with. Not to mention my account strikes that prevent me from posting past 15 minutes. Which is why my Q&A is split into parts. You know, that's just something I have to deal with. Do you think the platformer genre is dead? If so, why? The platformer genre isn't dead. Even though many of you out there don't seem to believe it, the platformer genre had its rise and shine back in the 90s, remember? Remember Crash, Spyro, and the original Mario games? This generation of video games is just overshadowed by first person shooters. Trust me, let some time go by and I assure you more platformers will be made than just Raymond, Mario, and Ratchet. Are you going to do some gameplays of PC games? Well, Anthony... I don't have a decent PC to record most games out there, which is why I'm not a PC gamer yet. Perhaps after I get a better laptop that has a better video card and RAM, I should be set. When the zombie apocalypse happens, what would be your weapon of choice? The Peacemaker from Jack 3 or the Rhino from the first Ratchet game? When the zombie apocalypse happens, I'll be smoking a cigar under your back porch playing on my Vita. But yeah, I choose the Rhino because of... Peacemaker doesn't have enough ammunition, and I'd rather rip the zombies a new one. Who? <clears throat> Who's the best Pokemon trainer? Red, Blue, or Cynthia? I don't know anything about Pokemon, sorry. How big is your butt? Bigger than your head. Would Jack and Daxter make a good anime series or manga? Anime. Who would win, Jack or Danny Phantom? If you don't know who Danny is... I'll have to rape you. Of course I know who Danny Phantom is. He was like my freaking favorite TV show when I was 8. Danny will win because Jack will need to use Eco to use his light eco powers and Danny can go intangible naturally. Danny's powers are natural while Jack's require Eco and weaponry. Excuse me, Eco, not Eco. Excluding all of the rhinos, what's your favorite gun in Ratchet Clank? Clank is not Ratchet. What's wrong with you? Anyways, I'd say the Mind Glove. Just a simple guess. Ellis asks me, Will you be buying a PS4? It's under development. I'll probably do what I did with the PS3. Just wait until the price goes down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you black? Yes, I am black. I don't care if people think I don't sound black. I just don't talk ghetto. What made you start your channel? Well, I can't exactly remember. All I remember was that I was a noob with a laptop and a PSP camera that wanted to post YouTube videos. As I received my PVR in October 2011, my channel started to lose its crappiness. When will you continue your Bully Scholarship Edition playthrough? Whenever I get in the mood to. I apologize for the inconsistency, Billy. Oh, and Matt, because I know you like watching the Let's Play. I hope you all have enjoyed part one of my Q&A. Stay tuned for part two.